I'm gonna give you six tips for YouTubers that most people are not telling you. As a matter of fact, I don't think anybody's telling you these, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so you know about watch time. I've said that a million times. You know about your thumbnails. I've said that a million times. You know about engagement and all that. I've said that a million times, but here's some new stuff. At the very top of the list, number one, it is very important for you to know that people are going to judge you based on your presentation and what's going on in the background of your videos. I know it sounds ridiculous, but depending on what it is that you're trying to do with your YouTube channel, this can be very important. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you are trying to position yourself as an authority of some kind, but what you have in your background doesn't express that. Let's say that you have content where you are a life coach or you're giving some type of life advice. Well, I got some news for you. If you are giving advice on life and the people look in your background and they see a mess everywhere and a bunch of disorganization, guess what? They're not gonna believe a word that you're saying because you're clearly disorganized and you should not be teaching other people how to be organized and how to do other life stuff. I'm mentioning this one because I saw it recently and there's a lot of weird stuff on YouTube where people are trying to be this, but really they're this and all of that good stuff. And blah, blah, blah. Let's also say that you give fitness advice and in that fitness advice, you are standing in your kitchen, you're talking about, hey, you need to be eating right, you need to be doing this, that, and the other thing, but you have Coke and cookies in the background. I know I'm watching some weight loss stuff myself and when when I see these videos and I see people that are messing up their messaging like that, I think to myself, do they even know this is happening? Because look, here's the reality of all of this stuff. There's the verbal part of making YouTube videos. There's the part where you're sitting there and you're talking to people, you're throwing your information, your thoughts, your ideas, or you're entertaining them in some way. And then there is the non-verbal side of what it is that you're doing. That's how you're presenting. That's how you're communicating. That's the stuff that's going on in the background, the things that people see, all those little micro judgments that they're making, those subconscious ideas that they're having about you while you are recording your videos. Now, this might sound a little bit crazy, but please don't underestimate the power of the image. Like when you plan all this stuff out and you get your image together and you're trying to think of what you're putting in the background and all of that, don't underestimate the power of that. Everything you do in your videos has to match the perception that you're wanting to give people when they're watching your videos. Number two, how you come across on camera matters. Do not let anyone tell you differently. I'm not saying that you have to be wild and crazy and off the charts and your energy level has to be up through the roof, but what I am saying is, if you communicate in a very low and boring way, unless you are extremely knowledgeable and informative, there's a really good chance that your videos are probably boring because of it. Now, I'm a big fan of being authentic. That's extremely important and you should always be authentic in your content. But with that said, it's also important that you understand that, and I'm sure you experienced this, you're a video creator. But when you are recording videos on the camera, it's important to understand that the camera takes a little bit of energy away from you. So if you can compensate for that a little bit, then it can make a big difference in your presentation. So you always wanna be yourself. Do not ever stray from that, right? Be you, be the real authentic you. But keep in mind, when you are making videos to entertain other human beings and to keep other human beings engaged, it's important that you try to be a little bit entertaining if you can. As an example, look at some of the biggest channels on YouTube. Most of them are entertaining. Number three, editing is also extremely important. Editing can help you fix mistakes. Editing can help you tell your story better. Editing your videos properly can make your colors look better. As an example, this right here is what my videos look like directly out of the camera. As you can see, there's quite a difference because of editing. And really it just kind of tightens the whole thing up a bit because one thing that I'm always trying to express to people is making things easy for the viewer and making things pleasant for the viewer. So if you're editing your videos in a way that can tighten out some of your ums and ahs and things like that or squeeze out some of your ums and ahs and you can just make the whole thing a little bit better for the people that are watching your video, you're gonna get better results. Number four, having a long-term sustainable channel it takes money. Eventually your camera's gonna break. Eventually you're gonna need a new computer. Eventually some of this stuff is going to be required to be replaced. And because of that, even though I know for whatever reason there's a stigma around it, 
it's important that you try to find at least a couple of ways to monetize your channel, even if you are doing this just for fun because you love putting up videos. And it doesn't matter if you're making gaming videos, if you're sharing your love for your hobby, if you're sharing just information that you like to gather, whatever it is, try to find a way to monetize your content because it's important that you can at the very least use that money just to sustain what it is that you're doing on YouTube. Number five, luck can definitely play a humongous part in your success on YouTube, but most of the time, that luck also comes down to the work that you put in in advance in order to be able to capitalize on that luck. Let's say you hopped on a trend and your channel just blows up, you're getting all these views and all these comments and all these new subscribers. Well, it's you didn't get lucky because you hopped on the trend, you actually made that video, you put in the work and you made that luck for yourself and you just happened to get favored by the algorithm based on how people are responding to your content. That comes down to work. And let's say that somebody reaches out to you to make content for them, your company or something, right? The reason that that would happen is because they see the stuff that you're doing, they see the effort and the work that you're putting into it, and they say, wow, this person makes awesome stuff, I want them to make some stuff for us. That luck was also generated by the work that you put in in advance. So put in the work, make sure that you're doing everything as good as you can so that when these different opportunities give themselves a chance to present themselves, you've got it covered and you are prepared to take advantage of that luck. Number six, it is very important to understand why it is that you're making content in the first place. Even if it's as a hobby, if you are putting videos on YouTube, I'm guessing most likely you're wanting to share your love of that hobby with other people. You're wanting to use that video content in order to reach other like-minded people. If that's the case, write it down. And by writing it down, this is going to help you make sure that all of the decisions that you make, be it I'm trying to reach like-minded people or be it I'm wanting to do YouTube full-time, be it I'm wanting to turn my YouTube into an acting career, be it any of the other many gazillions of options, and I counted, the gazillion of options that people use to drive them to continue to make YouTube content. And the reason that this is so important and the reason that I, that I like to mention this one anytime I get the chance is because if you don't know why you're making content, you don't know exactly what you're trying to accomplish, you don't know the exact lifestyle you're trying to build with it, or you don't know the connections you're trying to make, then down the road, you know, as you go through the progress or the process of uploading content, you can make a lot of bad decisions because they will take you off the trail of what it is that you're trying to accomplish and take you onto the trail of what other people are trying to accomplish. So it's really important that you know why that you're making content and you get some goals in place of the things that you're trying to do and that you want to accomplish so that you can identify it when you get there. And two, just to help you make sure that you plan things properly along the way and so that you can use that as your motivation to keep making the content in the first place. If you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.